First stop is an artist who uses his poetry to connect with young people. He's the dean of students at the largest inner city high school in New Britain, Connecticut. This brother performed in London during the 2012 Olympics, and he was also the opening act for Brian McKnight, Music Soul Child, and Genuine during the Love, Heart, and Soul Tour. Please welcome Michael Chief Peterson. <laughs> Kill him, baby. Give it to him. No, I don't speak Arabic, but I took a moment to learn a few phrases to make her feel comfortable. Bismillah, Arman Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rab Al Alamin. They call her Mummy Girl, and she gets judged by her cloth rather than her character. She stands to pledge allegiance to our stars and stripes and then sits in silence as she wipes her tears during homeroom. She spends seventh period calf in my office, introducing me to Palestine, where her backyard is the battlegrounds, and the sounds of gunshots and bombs are her lullabies, and her cries are never even heard because you won't even look at her. Never mind, listen, bismillah. Arman Rahim, alhamdulillah, rab el alamin. Our 9-11 is her 24-7. And by the way, she was four when that happened, but has now grown into a lady with long black hair, or is it short and brown? I've never really seen her hair, but she stands firm in her cloth, a petite five foot nothing, wouldn't harm a fly. And trust me, I know because there's a million around her face and the picture she shows me of her as a child. Her name is Nala. I once wrote about her as a little Muslim girl that just wants to whip her hair back and forth when actually I was damn wrong. See, we've dressed her in terror, but we will not hijack her pride. Her hijab is her shield, her protection, her savior, her armor, and she stands firm in her cloth, a petite five foot nothing, and whispers when she speaks, but her eyes scream a story that needs to be heard. Bismillah. Arman Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rab El Alameen. And trust me, I know, because I stole a glance one day, but she was taught to obey and never look a man in his eyes, so I apologize for my glance and disrespect, but I had to. I had to see her story for myself. You see, her family is her wealth, and we've murdered her brother, so she will forever be two dimes short of a dollar, but she will always, always have her pride. Bismillah. Arman Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rab El Alameen. 9-11 was a surprise to the entire world, but so is tomorrow, and who we blame for that? They call her Mummy Girl but she wraps herself to avoid being wrapped in our stereotypes. The media has built the hype so that you believe that Muslim is terror, but you tear her apart every time you assume she can't hear you because her head is covered. She's Muslim, not deaf. She speaks Arabic, not hate. And she hates terrorism just like you do. So a room full of whispers or silence is like one loud scream to her ears. So Nahla, if you'll hear me, I see you. And you are not see-through, and I will make it my mission so that everyone here sees you too. Yes, bullying is bad, but put yourself in the shoes of a teenage Muslim girl who's been stereotyped since she was four years old when all she ever wanted to do was be viewed as a human being. She's in a school of 3,600 students and feels alone, and how is that fair to a girl who was raised to love everyone and pray five times a day? Bismillah. Arman Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rab El Alameen. We don't make eye contact. I've never seen her hair. Her skin is completely covered, but she stands firm in her cloth, a petite five foot nothing. Her name is Nahla. She's a poet, and all she wants to do is be heard. <laughs> 